Healing moves for neck and shoulder relief. You'll want a few props to help assist your healing motion. Let's begin with a few blankets, something like this so that you can roll up, and a large beach towel works as well. You want to have this kind of opportunity to help support your spine and have a couple blankets or towels. We're also going to want some kind of lift, like a pillow or what we have here is a yoga bolster, something firm. So gather your supplies and let's begin with very nice first aid if you're healing in the neck and shoulders. To begin with, we're going to roll up our blanket or our towel. So roll it on up and this blanket is going to go sideways on the floor behind your back and sort of if ladies, right along your bra strap. Gentlemen, you don't have a bra strap, but imagine. So the blanket roll is going to be below the angles of your shoulder blades. Also, you're going to have the prop, the bolster, toward the front of your mat so that you can uh, place your knees on top of that. Finally, a third prop. another blanket or pillow can go underneath the head. So Nicole's demonstrating and you can see our beautiful and handsome models getting set up. You're going to support your body with your seat between the blanket roll and the bolster. Your knees will go above the blanket roll, excuse me, your knees will go above the bolster and you'll guide your body down gently with your arms and forearms, making sure that the blanket is just beneath the edges of your shoulder blades. A second blanket could be under your head or your neck and get comfortable with your palms facing upwards. Your palms could be level with your hips, they could be out like wings from your heart, or they could be more like a Y shape up overhead. Now let's begin to find our breath. Inhale through your nose and on exhale, exhale out an open mouth. Breathing like this today to help calm and ease any tension in your neck, your shoulders, inhaling through the nose and exhale out an open mouth. <sighs> Might even be an audible sigh. And just let go of any limitations you have on your capacity to receive and let go with your breath. Feel that breath moving through your throat, in and around your lungs, and exhale out an open mouth. As we exhale out that open mouth, we relax the jaw. And when we truly relax what's called the TMJ, the temporal mandibular joint, when we release the jaw joint completely, we're able to release the neck, the shoulders, and likewise, the low back, hips, and pelvis respond to an easy, relaxed jaw. So keep in mind, if you're healing in the neck and shoulders, having a relaxed jaw is going to move you in the direction of healing. Also notice, if you're getting irritated, frustrated, stressed, your shoulders are lifting up, and you're just feeling agitated, try some of those restorative breaths in through the nose, and out an open mouth. Continuing to breathe like this for another minute or so, and feel gravity pressing you down into the blanket roll. You really want to feel your body resting and compressing into the blanket roll. And you don't want the blanket roll to be too edgy, so if you feel your body is tensing and you're pulling away, then I suggest you roll to your side and instead of rolling the blanket, just fold it in half and lie on the folded blanket instead of the rolled blanket. If you'd still like more intensity, on the other hand, roll a couple blankets together and this will up the ante. This will make it a little edgier. We want to find our Goldilocks edge. In through the nose, exhaling out an open mouth. And you want to find that Goldilocks edge with all of our practices today. So it, it's not too much intensity, but it's not too little. We still want to challenge ourselves, find the edge, but don't force or push over the edge. Three more deep breaths here, allowing your rib cage, imagine your rib cage is pliable, more like Tupperware or even rubber, and it has this pliability as you move your lungs. 
into your ribs. Half of more than half, the majority of your lung tissues in the back half of your rib cage. So one more breath here. Really maximize your capacity to receive on the in-breath through the nose and let go on the out-breath out an open mouth. That's good. 